The Ark of the Covenant. Even the name resonates with power, evoking a sense of awe and reverence. It speaks of an ancient time, a time of miracles and divine intervention, a time when the divine walked among men. This was no ordinary chest. It was crafted with meticulous care, adorned with gold and intricate designs, signifying its sacred purpose. It was the embodiment of God's presence on earth, a tangible connection between the divine and the mortal. Inside, according to ancient texts, lay the tablets of the Ten Commandments, the very laws that would guide a nation. These were not mere words carved in stone. They were divine decrees etched by the hand of God himself. They were the literal word of God delivered to Moses on Mount Sinai amidst thunder and lightning, a moment of profound significance. To touch the ark was to risk death, for it was sacred beyond measure and only the chosen could approach it. To gaze upon its contents was to invite unimaginable consequences, for it held the power of the divine. Yet the ark was also a symbol of hope, a reminder of God's covenant with his chosen people, a promise of protection and guidance through the ages. It inspired faith and devotion, a beacon of light in times of darkness, a testament to the enduring bond between the divine and humanity. Even today, the Ark of the Covenant continues to captivate the imagination, bridging the ancient past with the present, a timeless symbol of faith and mystery. The Ark's story is shrouded in mystery and legend. It traveled with the Israelites during their exodus from Egypt. Its presence was said to have parted the Jordan River, allowing them to enter the Promised Land. The Ark was a fearsome weapon. Its power brought down the walls of Jericho. It vanquished enemies and secured victories for the Israelites. But the Ark was also a source of great danger. Those who treated it with disrespect or sought to wield its power for their own gain faced swift and terrible retribution. The Ark, it seemed, was a force that demanded reverence, obedience, and a pure heart. Centuries passed. Empires rose and fell. The Ark's legend lived on, whispered in hushed tones, passed down through generations. Some believed it had been destroyed. Others whispered of its hidden location. Explorers, treasure hunters, and religious zealots all were drawn to the allure of the Ark. Each sought its power, its secrets, its divine connection, but the Ark remained elusive, its resting place a closely guarded secret, lost to the sands of time, or so it seemed. Deep within a forgotten chamber, a group of individuals labored tirelessly. They were scholars, archaeologists and theologians, brought together by their shared obsession with the Ark of the Covenant. Years of research deciphering ancient texts had led them to this moment. The air hung heavy with anticipation. Sweat beaded on their brows as they worked to remove the final layer of protection. And then there it was, the Ark of the Covenant, just as it was described in the ancient texts. The moment was electric. A sense of awe and trepidation filled the chamber. They had found it, but what awaited them inside? One among them, a man of science but also of faith, stepped forward. His hand trembled as he reached for the lid of the Ark. He paused, a silent prayer on his lips, and then, with a deep breath, he lifted it. The world exploded. A blinding light erupted from the Ark, engulfing the chamber. The sound was deafening, a roar that seemed to shake the very foundations of the earth. Those present were thrown back, their senses overwhelmed. Some screamed, others shielded their eyes, blinded by the light. The power of the Ark, unleashed after millennia, was terrifying, awe-inspiring, and utterly beyond comprehension. The Aftermath As the light subsided and the ringing in their ears faded, a stunned silence fell over the chamber. The air was thick with the weight of what had just transpired, and the gravity of the situation began to sink in. The Ark lay open, but it was empty. The once mythical container, said to hold unimaginable power and ancient secrets, now revealed nothing but a void. The tablets, the objects it was said to contain, were gone. These artifacts, which had been the subject of countless legends and scholarly debates, had vanished without a trace. The individuals who had dared to open the Ark were forever changed. Their faces, once filled with curiosity and determination, now bore the marks of an experience that defied explanation. Some were physically unscathed but deeply shaken, haunted by the experience. 
They would carry the psychological scars of that day for the rest of their lives, their minds replaying the events over and over. Others bore the marks of the Ark's power on their bodies, strange burns, inexplicable scars. These physical manifestations served as a constant reminder of the peril they had faced. The world outside remained oblivious to the momentous event that had transpired. Life continued as usual, with people going about their daily routines, unaware of the extraordinary occurrence that had taken place. But for those who had witnessed the opening of the Ark, nothing would ever be the same. Their lives had been irrevocably altered, and they would forever be bound by the shared experience of that fateful day. As the sun set over the ancient ruins, casting long shadows across the chambers, the survivors knew that their journey was far from over. They had uncovered a mystery that would haunt them and the world for generations to come. With heavy hearts and minds burdened with questions, they walked away from the site, each step taking them further from the past, but closer to an uncertain future. The aftermath of the Ark's opening was only the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. Conspiracy and cover-up. In the annals of history, few events have sparked as much intrigue and speculation as this one. Whispers of the event began to circulate, growing louder with each passing day. The air was thick with suspicion and curiosity. Rumours spread through clandestine networks of scholars, archaeologists and government officials. These were not just idle gossipers, but individuals deeply entrenched in the pursuit of knowledge and power. The Ark had been found, it was said, but its contents were missing. This revelation sent shockwaves through the academic and political communities, and those who had opened it, their fates were unknown. Some vanished without a trace, while others were found in states of inexplicable distress. Some whispered of a conspiracy, a cover-up orchestrated by powerful forces determined to keep the Ark secrets hidden from the world. These forces, it was believed, would stop at nothing to maintain their control. Others claimed that the Ark's power had been too great, that it had consumed those who had dared to disturb it. Theories abounded, each more fantastical than the last. The truth, like the Ark itself, remained elusive. Despite numerous expeditions and countless hours of research, the answers continued to slip through the fingers of those who sought them. The official story, if there was one, was dismissed as fabrication, a desperate attempt to explain away the unexplainable. The public, however, was not so easily convinced. They demanded answers, but all they received were more questions. As the years went by, the mystery only deepened. New theories emerged, each adding another layer to the already complex tapestry of conspiracy and cover-up. The legend of the Ark and the secrets it held continued to captivate the imagination of all who heard it. The Ark's Enduring Enigma The Ark of the Covenant continues to fascinate and intrigue. Its story is a potent reminder of the power of belief, the enduring allure of the unknown and the enduring mystery at the heart of our existence. Was the Ark merely a gilded chest, a symbol of an ancient people's faith? Or was it something more, a conduit to the divine, a repository of unimaginable power? The answers, like the Ark itself, remain shrouded in mystery. Perhaps they are not ours to know. Perhaps some secrets are best left undisturbed. In the realm of faith and legend, the story of the Ark of the Covenant transcends time and culture. It speaks to something deep within us, a yearning for connection to something greater than ourselves, a fascination with the unknown. Whether a historical artifact or a religious icon, the Ark's power lies in its ability to inspire awe, wonder, and a sense of the numinous. It is a reminder that some mysteries are beyond our comprehension, some forces beyond our control. And in that realm of faith and legend, the Ark of the Covenant will continue to exert its powerful hold on our collective imagination.